Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to model this kind of panties made of double elastic mesh. So, let's start! I took the basic panty pattern from my sewing course and I leave a link with my sewing course in the description under this video. And first we need to model the pattern. You will need a tracing paper for modeling, but if you don't have it, you can use the regular baking paper. I take the pattern without any seam allowances, I will add them later. And fold the paper in half and transfer the front part of the painted, and then cut it out. Next, I draw two lines that will be at the fold of the fabric and on one of the lines I fold the paper. Since both parts here are symmetrical, I will use only one of them. We take the back part of the panties and transfer it. Next, draw a straight line from the bottom point of the side to the gusset point like this. Then I cut it out. Adding seam allowances on the back of the panties where the gusset side and middle of the butt I will add 1 cm seam allowances each. The top will be 0 cm as I will cover the open cut with a fold over elastic and the leg cut line will be on the fold of the fabric. On the front part of the panties where the side and gusset I add 1 cm for the seam allowances. The lines will be on the fold of the fabric and the rest without allowances. To make it easier to cut the parts, it's better to fold them in four layers. Also cut the lining for the gusset. Put the front part of the panties together, put the lining face down, pin it, then we need to sew a straight stitch at the distance of the allowance. The two halves of the back of the panties I need to unfold, combine together and on the edges sew a straight stitches at a distance of and seam allowance. I make a small fold on the top edge of the lining so as not to leave an open cut and sew a straight stitch. Here I sew a straight stitch at a distance of 1 cm. Next, the lines of the legs cut on the front part of the panties close with the fold over elastic. Next, sew the zigzag, I will sew a free step zigzag. Now connect the front and back parts of the panties. I have to put the front part into the back part like this. Then sew a straight stitch at the distance of the seam allowance, in my case it's 1 cm, and turn out the back part. This way we get a nice and closed cut. Now I connect the sides of the panties. I put the side of the front part of the panties between the two layers of the back part of the panties. Pin it and when I turn it out I have a closed seam. Now 
Next, sew a straight stitch. Next, I need to close the top open cut of the panties with the fold over elastic. To make it easier to work with the fold over elastic, I divide the top cut of the panties in half, put a pin and then place the elastic along the entire length. I also leave 2 cm tails, so I can add the links later. Next, sew a zigzag. Next, in the tails I put the rings and I need to sew a straight stitch here. And also next I take the strap elastic and put the slider in this strap. You can sew a straight stitch and leave the cut open, or like me, you can close the cuts with a frequent zigzag. All that's left is to put the elastic strap in the rings and sew a straight stitch. Our panties are ready, don't forget to subscribe to watch more sewing videos. See you!